Hi developers, let's learn how to run the build pipeline to validate a pull request. When we enable continuous integration, the build pipeline will run on, need, on every new git push to the branch. This means we might have some code for an incomplete functionality that is not ready to be released yet. It doesn't make sense to run the build in this case. That's why we should use pull requests. We create a feature X branch from master or dev branch for each new user story. We commit into it until we finish the development. At that point, we go to merge feature X with master or dev branch. A developer will go to look at our source code, read it and validate it to get merged. But before doing that, we want to make sure the code does compile successfully. The PR will trigger the build pipeline to compile the app and run unit tests to make sure the merged branch will not break the build. And if it does break the build, then the merge will not happen and the developer should go fix it and create a new pull request. Join me in this video to show you how to create the status check in GitHub to run the build pipeline in each time we have a new PR. So from here, I start by creating a new project. I click cre create project, then I'll give it a name. Let's say this is gonna be a spinet core PR. Then I click the create button in order to create this one. I have already prepared this uh, project. And from here, I'll go to add a new CI pipeline. I click new pipeline in order to go to create a new one. From here we can choose to start with YAML pipelines or to start with the classic editor. For the simplicity of this demo, I start with the classic editor, then we can move to the YAML pipeline. I select one of my GitHub projects, so I need to authenticate to a GitHub in order to be able to use the uh, webhooks in order to notify, in order that a GitHub notifies Azure DevOps and each time a new commit or push or a pull request is created in GitHub um, repository. So let's here go to select one of the repositories I'm using. I have already prepared a NSPNet Core sample application here in uh, GitHub. So I copy the name of this uh, project and I'll use it in my CI pipeline. So uh, let's go to search for this repository. I find it here, ASP.NET Core-PR. Then I select the branch that I want to use. By default here, I'll use the master branch. Let's click continue. And from here, Azure DevOps will suggest some uh, templates that we can use to uh, build this project. And because this is an ASP.NET Core application, I'll choose this default or this uh, template built for ASP.NET Core. So I click Add. And from here I find the template with the default configuration in order to build this project. I click Save in order to save this. Then now I start configuring the CI pipeline to be triggered in each time a new pull request is created in GitHub. So the way to do that is to go to the Triggers menu and from here, we have the option to enable continuous integration. And if we enable this, then in each time we uh, push a new commit to the repository in GitHub, this will trigger the CI pipeline. But in most of the cases, that's not the good uh, practice or that's not the best practice to do that because we'll have lots and lots and lots of uh, pushes, lots of commits, and we don't want the build to be triggered uh, each uh, like each uh, 20 minutes, for example. But we want to th the build to be triggered after creating the or after developing the full feature. That's why we use pull requests. So we we'll create a new branch. We'll develop the feature and that specific branch. Then once we finish the development, we'll go to merge that branch into the master branch or the developer branch or whatever you use for uh, for your development. So here we won't use a continuous integration, but instead we'll go to use the pull request validation. 
So with pull request, we can enable the pull request validation by clicking this box here. And from here, we have some uh, settings we need to configure. So here it is asking me which a branch you want to use for your pull request. Here, I am okay with the master branch. And in some other cases, you might want to uh, select your developer branch, for example. So this means in each time a new pull request is created to my master branch, this will trigger the CI pipeline to run. We can, of course, add new um, branches like the dev, for example, and we can also exclude some other uh, branches like um, let's say, for example, uh, test, uh, test branches. We have also another option to um, configure the filters, th uh, the filters for the path. Let's click add. And this is useful when we have, for example, a documentation in our, um, in our project. So it doesn't make sense to build the uh, CI or to run the CI pipeline each time we change just the documentation for the project because it doesn't uh, affect or it doesn't impact the application's uh, source code itself. So we want to exclude or we don't want to build the uh, CI pipeline in each time we change just only the uh, docs for the project. For that, we can here use the exclude type and with the exclude i say i don't want to uh, i want to exclude any changes to my doc folder and i also want to exclude the changes to my readme file the file right here so i'll copy its name and i say please exclude any uh, exclude the changes for this file note we have also some other uh, configurations for the forks for example we can allow the uh, pull request uh, to, be, to run the pipeline from the forks for this repository. So this is all the configuration we need in order to uh, allow uh, the CI pipeline in Azure DevOps to run in each time I have a new pull request on my master or dev branch. Let's click save. Let's now go to GitHub in order to configure it to run the status checks and each time we have a new pull request is created on the master branch. I'm on my GitHub account right here and first thing to do is to go to the marketplace in order to install the Azure Pipelines extension that will enable the integration between Azure DevOps and GitHub. So let's go to select it. It is this extension right here, Azure Pipelines. So make sure you install it. Here I have already installed it, but if you didn't already install it, then you will have a button telling you to install the extension. Once we have done this, I switch back to my GitHub repository where I have this project right here. And now I start configuring the rule to run the uh, status checks. So from here, we need to go to the settings window and then we need to go to branches. And here we need to uh, add a new rule for the branch. So let's say here, this rule will concern the master branch. And for the rule settings section here, we need to, uh, we'll go to uh, to say we want to require status checks to pass before merging. This will enable uh, GitHub to perform some status checks before merging the branch. So I say, um, uh, but uh, here, as you see, it tells us that it's sorry because they didn't, it couldn't find any status checks in the last uh, week for this repository because here uh, actually the CI pipeline needs to be run it before uh, configuring this section. So let's go back to Azure DevOps. And from here, let's go to trigger the CI pipeline manually. We'll do that manually just for, uh, um, for this time, but after that will be triggered 
automatically after the pull request. So let's wait just a few seconds until the uh, CI pipeline runs successfully. Once it did run successfully, now we can go back to Azure or to um, GitHub. And from here, actually, I'll go to uh, refresh this uh, page. And then I'll go again to uh, set the branch name pattern. So let's say here, this is for my master branch. Then I go to uh, check, require status checks. And from here, you see, I, I can see the CI, the name of the CI pipeline that they have created in Azure DevOps, which were called it ASP.NET Core PR ASP.NET uh, Core CI. So I will go to select this CI pipeline and this will tell GitHub that it, this CI pipeline need to run and to run successfully before merging the new branch to my master branch. So this is the required configuration from GitHub. Let's go to click create in order to create this new rule and let me put my password for my GitHub account. Once that uh, this rule is created, now we are ready to uh, test that it is working successfully. So let's go back to my uh, repository right here and let's create a new uh, branch. Let's call this one feature, feature number one, for example. It doesn't exist, so let's create it. And let's make some changes to the source code for my application. Let's go inside the source uh, source folder. Then let's go, for example, to the startup.cs and let's make some small changes like um, let's go to this edit icon and let's just go to add some extra space right here. Then I'll go to commit these uh, changes. Let me go back to uh, the feature one repo. And from here, I go to create a new pull request to merge my feature one into the master branch. So let's create the new pull request. And here it will be merged to my master branch. That's good. Let's create the pull request. Once it's created from here, we can see that um, it is um, in progress and some checks haven't yet completed but here it is pending it is waiting for azure pipelines to uh, run the uh, ci pipeline that they have defined right here so uh, the, the pipeline were queued and if i go to my pipeline go to summary open that in a new window i'll be able to see that there is a build pipeline that is in progress and I can uh, go to this uh, pipeline from here or also I can open that pipeline from the details uh, link right here if I click this one. So from here I can see the pipeline is running. Let's wait for a few seconds until the pipeline uh, finishes running. Then we'll see that the, um, the branch will be merged to the master branch. Once it did run successfully from here we can see that the status or all the checks have passed it successfully we, we have no conflicts with the base branch so now we can merge the current branch with the one that we have if we click here to see all the checks we can see that now uh, we run that check let's go now to merge the pull request confirm the merge and successfully we did uh, merge the feature one into the, ma the master branch. Now we can go to delete the feature number one. So it was this simple how to uh, enable pull request validation using Azure DevOps. If you want to do this uh, using the YAML pipeline uh, files, then you can go to the documentation link from here where you have the uh, PR triggers and from here you have the YAML syntax that you can use in order to uh, include uh, the branches or exclude a new ones or also defining the paths to include or to exclude for your CI uh, pipeline.